Hey y'all, welcome back to Simple Gracefield Home. Today is pig butchering day. We have a family who are some good friends of ours who are coming over today to help us to butcher our first pig. I am going to prepare some breakfast and I have already been preparing the last few days to make sure that they have everything uh, they need to teach us and to help us learn this process and whatever it is we need to make sauces, all that stuff. So I'm trying to get on top of it. This is my first time, so this is gonna be interesting. And on top of that, we actually have two sick babies. One took but around a fever last night. And London is a bit stuffy. So we hope that everything's still gonna be as planned. I wanna cook some food. So I got the confirmation, we're still good for today. Um, Miss Tulip is here with me. Was that your new raincoat? Tulip. Yeah, for Tulip, yes ma'am. Tulip. That's right, you are Tulip. How old are you? Hey, mama. How old are you? Two. Yes ma'am. Okay, so, um, my husband's out for a jog. When he comes back, we're gonna be able to go outside and set up. And right now, though, I'm going to, I got my meat, gr oh, I got my meat grinder. So I thought um, I'd check that out. Pretty exciting. Do some investigating for this sucker. Oh my, sorry. I did some investigating for the sucker and it's, um, Like, man, meat grinders are expensive. But this is not. I paid like $67, I think, for it. But I read that it was a pretty good meat grinder. You're getting some bang for your buck, considering how expensive they can be. And so that was very exciting. Well, baby, are you trying to help Mama? 
Come on, muscles. Oh, man, that's a strong girl, huh? Oh, look, the box in the box. What a surprise. Hey, me, and This requires two hands. Okay, so it looks pretty simple. Oh, well, say that. It doesn't have that many parts, so it looks good. Here's what we got base unit, or the base, excuse me, whatever you want to call it, where the motor is, and then only all the other parts was this piece, this piece, I'm assuming this pushes it down, and I'm not sure what that's for, and the other um, sizes, even though there is one already in here actually. There we go, right there. So, hey, please don't touch, okay? So I'm gonna put it together. See what we got. Here's the meat grinder. I'll put together. Okay, so this is pushes the meat down. This is to make sausages. That's pretty cool to me. And here's the extra plates. Um, directions and there's a plate in there already and already kind of whipped it together it looks super simple hopefully it stays that way because I don't know what I'm doing also uh, we are done with the egg bake it's ready young egg bake it's gonna cool now and we are actually going to go out I'm gonna let Miss Tilt go out so hopefully she'll run around for a few minutes and get tired because while she's not feeling her best, she still has plenty of energy. So if I can get her to take a nap early, that'll be awesome. So we got a, I had to get a cooler yesterday. Um, Sam's Club had a, a good price on a big one. So cooler. And in it we have gloves and some skinny knives that uh, they're wrapped in a towel because well, I got small children plus. I don't want to cut my stuff on. They are sharp. Um, so I washed them yesterday and they're wrapped up. And we're going to go outside and we'll start getting things ready. Because they will be on their way in a little bit. I know that they're going to be here soon. So I've been outside setting up. I have um, um, tables. This is not dirty, just so y'all know. This is for me working on it, stain and paint. So I got some five gallon buckets down here. A water hose that's, it's super long, so it's kind of crazy. I have my dogs in here and the, oh, and they're already getting out. Look, Simba got out. That's awesome. And now I was working on getting out. She's tearing my fence apart. Okay, that's not gonna be good. Anyways, real quick, coolers. Um, got a large bucket in here for where she's going to be hanging. There we go. Large bucket for where she'll be hanging. And some chairs, some more soap, a scrub brush to be scrubbing things down. I have a vacuum sealer that's inside the house. Processing the pig did not go as we had, would have liked it to. It was challenging and I know that's basically just the life of a homesteader, right? Uh, when you're trying to learn to be self-sustainable to a degree, anyhow, we're not trying for 100%, but to a degree of self-sustainability. Self wow, that's crazy hard to say, right? For me. So, um, we did uh, harvest quite a bit of meat. We gave quite a bit to the family that helped us, um, just as a thank you. It was challenging. We most likely will not harvest another pig ourselves or process some other pig ourselves. Uh, we will likely raise pigs and but not harvest them. We will have somebody else keep saying harvest, but either way, harvest process. We will have somebody else do it. Um, we'll take it to a, a butcher or something like that. Maybe have somebody else do it. I don't know. But um, yeah. We did got quite a bit of meat, so that's the great part. Sad part was it didn't go as we would liked it to, so it was challenging. It is the first time we have 
had to take the life of one of our animals in order to provide for our family. So that's always a difficult thing and it's definitely something, I think um, it's, it's mostly, it's definitely bittersweet because you're so thankful um, for the protein, for the meat to be able to provide and yet it's just hard to take the life of anything, right? So, bittersweet. Anyhow, uh, we did get quite a bit of food. We rendered lard, we made pork cracklings. Um, that will last us quite a while. And we'll just kind of see what happens next. That was a big thing off of our homesteading goals for 2021. So it's not the only one I think we've marked off, but it was one, so super awesome. And next we will be uh, processing chickens, which we'll probably have it in a month possibly two months, I'm not 100%. I'm just kind of watching day by day how they're growing, how they're doing, since we didn't uh, get the regular broiler chickens that are specifically for meat raising, they will take longer to come to full maturity when they're a larger size, basically, so, without being right to, to uh, that, so. Anyhow, yeah, thank y'all so much for coming along another crazy day in our adventurous homestead. I say adventurous because these are all new for us, so they feel very adventurous. <laughs> but we're so thankful. So y'all have a wonderful day.